this example revises what are called Fibonacci type sequences. And these are sequences where if you know two terms, if you add them together, we can find the next term along. So for example, in this case, if we knew the fourth was 28 and the fifth was 43, then I could find the sixth term by doing 28 plus 43, which would equal 71. However, this question says, show the first term equals two. The word show here is important. We're given the answer. We've got to show a clear method to actually work it out. Now, what you will observe in a Fibonacci type sequence is that if we know, for example, the fifth and the sixth, then to work out the fourth, we would do 71 take away 43 equals 28. Just as those two add to make this one, if I do this take away 43, I can work out the previous one. So, if I know the fourth and fifth, to find the third term, I would do 43 take away 28, which gives me 15. So the third term has got to be 15. And to check that, 15 plus 28 does indeed equal 43. So if I keep on going, I would then do 28 minus 15, which is 13. And then last but not least, to show the first term equals 2, I would do 15 take away 13 equals 2. And those three really clear steps show the examiner that you've known how to work out the first term carefully and logically. So we're done. Now, in the second part of the question, we're given the first and the third, and we're asked to find the fifth term in terms of A and B. Now, just as before, we showed how if, for example, you knew the third and second, then 15 take away 13 equals 2. In a similar way, if I know the third and the first, 15 take away 2 equals 13. So in this question, I could find, for example, the second term by not doing 15 take away 2, but by doing B take away A. So I could write in B take away A in here. The second term is the third term minus the first term. We now know the first, the second and the third. We can now use the Fibonacci idea to find the fourth, because to find the fourth term I just do the second plus the third. Well the second is B minus A, the third is just B. If I then simplify this expression, b plus b is 2b, and there's a minus a there as well. So this becomes 2b minus a. And then, last but not least, to find the fifth term, I then just do the third plus the fourth. Well, the third is b, the fourth is 2b minus a. If I make this simpler, b plus 2b is 3b, there's a minus a there, so the fifth term in terms of b and a is 3b minus a. So to summarise, if we know two terms, to find the next term we add those two terms together. But conversely, if I know, for example, the second and third term, to find the first term I'll do third take away second. Or, if I know the third and the first, to find the second, I can do third take away first. And that is the pattern which underlines Fibonacci type sequences.